get that anti-ooze away from this happily mutated turtle. I agree with the turtle. Go stand over there. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at another set of Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. These figures, only available at GameStop, have been uh, uh, out on the shelves for maybe a few months now, so it's not like these are brand new figures. Um, but... I loved the cartoon movie, the Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie. It was great. I advise go find it, watch it. You will not be disappointed. But tonight, we're talking about toys. And taking a look at the box, you can see there are two figures in here. It's a very nice uh, window uh, package box. You have only at GameStop here at the top. The Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo here. Robin and Raphael fig action figure two-pack. And you see them and their accessories, 25 pieces. The box goes on a nice bend over here. You have DC collectibles direct from the source. And on the back of the box, you have a view of product shots. This is the box. These are the other figures in the line. And this is a read up of the uh, action figures. Sorry about that. Target. So, if you'd like to take a look at that, the first uh, paragraph is about the uh, series, and the second paragraph is about the ones in the box. So, you may pause it and read it at your leisure, but we must be moving on. So, zooming back out, and we will continue around the box. On the side of the box, you just have Nickelodeon, a green shell, and credits for the box, and DC Collectibles again. On the bottom of the box, you just have some words and barcodes and Nickelodeon and more credits for the box that no one really cares about. And finally, on the top, you have just the logo Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that is the box. But no one wants to see these awesome figures in the box. I know I don't. So let's get them out and see what they can do. And here you have Robin and Raphael out of the package. And as you can see, they come with a slew of accessories that we're all going to take a quick look at and first of all with there being two uh we will do them one at a time and tonight we will start with Raphael. and taking a look at Raphael by himself he stands at approximately six inches tall he comes with his classic psi weapons they are nicely done and there's two of them and we'll take a look at those later he comes with an alternate head, which is when he was at the end of the movie and on motorcycles and such. And he comes with a piece of pizza. Every good Ninja Turtle needs that. And he comes with two alternate pairs of hands to go along with the closed fist set he already has. So, that is some neat uh, accessories. And coming real close in to check out the mold and paint job, uh, you can see he's a nice light green. He has his traditional red bandana going around his head. It does uh, has a molded piece that comes down to the center of his chest, which is really nice. And you can see it's kind of done where it looks like there's two strips. Uh, a closer look on his face would indicate that he has a nice uh, sculpted scar going through his uh, left eye, going down to the bottom. That's really interesting. He's seen some battle in his day. Nice. Uh, Buying for work for the mouth and some jaw lining. That's pretty neat. Uh, coming down, you see some nice neck detail. And this, you have uh, the chest, which makes the, the manila shell. Uh, zoom out just a little bit. You can see some nice tune lines that uh, differentiate what would be abs, I guess. And then they continue over here onto the shoulders, which is pretty neat. And speaking of the shoulders, we'll come around here. We'll look. It has some nice uh, elbow pads. Um, they are kind of molded into the top part of his shoulder here. And taking a look on the back of them, they are detailed. So you can see some nice little rivets there. Uh, it, but uh, they are kind of just painted. The arm is just painted to kind of match the, the uh, color of the elbow pad. So, eh, it's not the best way to do it, I don't think. But, you know, it, it gets the job done. It's kind of a trick of color. Also, like, coming down to uh, his wrist, and you got these uh, kind of molded 
uh, distinction wrist uh, bands here and his hands. They have some taped up detail on them, so that's pretty neat. And that will bring us back to his midsection and his belt, which is nice and brown, goes all the way back around. Uh, it is a, a separate piece that's glued on. You can see that he has an R right there. Um, it's not as uh, obvious as, you know, a circle with an R in it, but you can tell it's a lowercase R. And the belt continues her all the way around until you have this little part, uh, which is where he will have his size. Because in the uh, cartoon, instead of on the front, he kind of wore them going into the back so he could pull them out. Which is actually a pretty clever idea, I think. Uh, the side, you just got a little bit of brown to inner shell workings. Coming down to legs, and the legs are nice. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of line detail on the inner thigh. And you have the same gimmick uh, with his knee pads as you have with his elbow pads. You just have a sculpted uh, pad here. And it, the uh, rest of it's colored differently uh, to kind of indicate the actual length of the pad. Uh, some more line work down here. And then you have these big, huge, hunking turtle feet. And they have some line work on them and some toes. Uh, on the bottom of his feet, he does have some uh, words and things. So if you want some trademark areas, uh, we'll get that. There you go. Made in China and Viacom 2019 DC Comics and some stuff. So that's pretty neat. Checking out the back of this guy. Let's uh, zoom out just a hair. Uh, not anything that you wouldn't expect on the back. Just... Uh, a little bit of shell detail. The little sections are picked out, but not with different colors or anything. But you can tell that there is sections to his shell. So, but anyway, that is it for what this guy looks like. Moving on. And for articulation, basically starting at the head. His head can go all the way around 360 degrees. Just watch out for the little... Um, bandana part and like i said in the leonardo one this is just glued here to the head i would be very careful with that and try not to uh, mess with it too much because you don't want that to fall off um the head can kind of articulate a little bit but not much it's mostly uh left and right um because it's such a big head um shoulders they can go 360 degrees and they can come out up like so the uh, bicep swivel is actually down here at the forearm so that can go all the way around and it's connected into your elbow bin which is a eh, pretty good range of motion there uh, his wrist does swivel all the way around and it does hinge up and down and those aren't hands can come off um, I don't believe the other hands have any type of articulation so it's all going to be on like the peg the ball peg that when you put the uh, hand on so that's what's going on there's not not a hinge there or anything all right um there is nothing here at the waist because he is just one big solid piece he's a big turtle and you know you can't really cut that in two all right legs legs can go up a little bit like that legs can go back uh, just a hair because of the shell but most you're going to get them out to the side and that's where you're going to get a lot of your uh movement thigh swivel is kind of uh, hanky i mean it it's moving but it feels weird okay so i i wouldn't do a lot with that because i don't want it to break off so he does have a double knee bend which will get him up to there so a good uh bending of the knee uh bringing that back down and he has a little bit of foot articulation it can go up and it can go down and it can kind of rock all the way around to the side whichever you want it to do so that is good for his feet and that is his articulation moving up and for uh his accessories the first pair of alternate hands he has are these grabby hands and they are pretty nice he can see they uh are uh similarly molded as the uh, closed fist hands that he had on earlier and they have still have the tape detail and they're gonna you know he's gonna grab you i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you 
here I come. Rawr! So those are pretty neat right there. And for his next set of uh, alternate hands, he has his weapon holding hands. You can see they have a nice uh, grip a action area where you can put weapons and other things in there. And he has a little uh, circle uh, molded, sculpted out to the center of his hand so you could put his size going through his hand because he kind of held them between his uh, fingers. And we'll take a look at that right now and the sides are nicely done and as you can see he can hold them in a standard gripping uh pose or he can have them coming through the center of his fingers which is why that was molded like that so taking this out and being very careful because we don't want another relapse or uh, another rehashing of what happened with uh leonardo's weapons eh, come on um the sides are really nicely done nice length uh you can see a uh, nice sculpted and three prongs here like a normal side and you have some bandage wrapping and some gold for the uh, handle uh, but they do feel very brittle so i, I think if you like try to uh, use them to play with uh, they will break so be very careful with these uh size so um Again, I, I hesitate to try to put them in the back here because I don't want to break the tip off. So we will see if this works. Um, if you if you don't put a lot of pressure on it, it kind of will just find its way, maybe. Oh, this is scary. Maybe you put it like that and uh, bring the other one out too. So, I don't know. That's kind of what it's supposed to do, I think. I don't, I'm not brave enough to push it all the way in uh because maybe if you put it at an angle i don't know i'll play around with it if i can get it i'll show you guys but i don't want to break <laughs> these weapons like i did leonardo's sword all right moving on to more accessories and here you have Raphael holding his nice yummy pizza which is nicely sculpted and you can see that it has some pepperoni on there some nice crust some uh, cheese and all sorts of neat stuff so that is a neat little uh item that all the turtles and then the bat family have are coming with <coughs> cool <laughs> moving on and for Raphael's final accessory is an alternate head and it's a little motorcycle helmet with some goggles and a nice point up here at the top you can see he's in there he's Arr! more gas Arr! So that is pretty neat. Nice line work there. And on this side. And, you know, it doesn't really, you know, move. Uh, it goes all the way around like your normal head, but it doesn't really get a lot of wiggly waggly. I mean, sort of, but not much. So anyway, that is it for Raphael's accessories. And for comparison, here he is with the NECA turtles. And that's a pretty neat. You can see that uh, this Raphael is a lot bigger than the standard uh, NECA mold. So, yeah, get out of here, wimp. Oh, excuse me. So, <laughs> so that was pretty neat. Uh oh, he fell over. So, ah, come on, get back up there. Get back up there. We have to do more comparisons. We have to do more comparisons. Stand up. Okay. And next for comparison we have him with leonardo so that's pretty neat you can see he's taller definitely taller than leonardo a little more bulkier uh, he's lighter green than leonardo uh but uh i always like these two guys they were the blade boys <laughs> the size and the katanas so that's pretty neat okay come on leo get out of the shot and next we have him and Bat Mikey! Hey dude, what's up? Uh, starting to get on my nerves again, right? <laughs> so, so there you go. See how they match up. All right, get him out of here. And last but not least, let's throw in the Batman. See how he looks. Obviously a lot bigger, but uh, that's okay because Batman is huge and manly and there you go. So that is a neat little comparison with those two. All right. So that was our take on the Raphael of this set. He's really nice. Again, the, the weapons kind of worry me. They do seem a little brittle, 
but uh, as long as you're careful with them you can kind of get them in the hand uh, so anything else we'll save for uh, final thoughts but now let's turn our attention to the boy wonder and here we have Robin and he stands at approximately five inches tall and one of the first questions everybody asks when they do see a Batman movie or film or thing and it has Robin in it is, which Robin is it? Because there's been several different Robins. And this one is very distinguishable because of the uh, costume he wears. You can notice the, the black pants and the black arms and uh, spiky hair. This is going to be Damian Wayne, Bruce Wayne's child that he had with Talia Al Ghul. So, yeah, for those of you who uh, don't know anything about the Batman mythos, Damian Wayne is the newest and most current Robin. And, yeah, he is Batman's legitimate son with Talia Al Ghul. So, anyway, take a, a look at this guy. He comes with tons of accessories. He has a bow staff. He has half a bow staff. He has a couple uh, nice batterings. He has two pairs of alternate hands, which are really, really small. He comes with a grappling gun and two grappling uh, uh, attachments. He comes with a nice piece of pizza, a bat bomb, and an alternate head. So we'll take a quick look at those later, but right now let's take a closer look at this little guy. And coming real close in on Robin, you can see they did a real good job making him look really young, and Robin is really young. He's like 10 or 11 years old. Uh, he has some nice uh, spiky hair uh, molded into his head there. That's pretty neat. You can see uh, some lines coming down to the to his nose. Um, green uh, face mask, domino mask, which is really nice. You got the little uh, side wings or spikes. That's neat. Little ears, uh, nose, lined mouth. Like that's neat. White eyes. Those are nice looking eyes. Um, has neck, and you can see his cape comes up to his neck. It has a nice uh, gold, gold and black collar, and it has this second piece, which is to uh, represent a downed uh, hood. So you know they, they did the same thing with Marvel Legends Wolverine. They gave him that kind of little cowl that was down. So this is the same kind of thing. Um, his cape is really nice, uh, and it. Um, is a nice black and has some nice gold on the inside so that's neat coming his on the front he uh has some black arms coming down to green uh gloves and they have the molded uh spikes on the side those are really nice little bitty hands and they're really so small hands but that's okay they're supposed to be all right it has a red tunic on and the yellow goes down the middle and you have these like I don't know what you'd call those little buttons or marks, hash marks, or I don't know. A uh, nice Robin symbol there, uh, in the traditional Damian Wayne style. A uh, little belt. It is uh, molded in, and it's nice and uh, gray with some two-tone uh, orange and yellow for the belt buckle. And it goes all the way around, so that's pretty neat. He has some black pants coming down to some green and gray uh, boots. I mean, I guess this could be considered gray, but I think it's black. It's just they used a kind of a dark, dark gray as opposed to black because everything on here is like not really dark, dark black. But anyway, uh, under your arms, again, I don't think I missed, I missed this. You got some nice tune marks there. And you got some nice ridges on the bottom of his shoes. On uh, the back of the figure, uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect to see. Again, his interesting little molds uh, in his cape. It's those little spots there. I don't know what those are. They may just be a molding error. Or oh, actually, no. There's a uh, some uh, there's some tabs or some holes right here. So I don't know if that was that's supposed to like you know mold. Sit, sit down on there really tightly but I don't know it's there and that's pretty much what this guy looks like
And for articulation, bringing him up, his head can go all the way around 360 degrees if you want to snap his neck, which a lot of people do because he's an arrogant cuss. His head can wiggle wiggle. It can, uh, can't really uh, move, you know, down and up that much, but it, you know, it does do the wiggle waggle, so you can get a little bit of motion into it. Uh, his little hood piece can go up and down, or you could take it off. So we saw that. Um, coming down to his arms, his arms go up and they go all the way around 360 degrees. Uh, he has a forearm swivel coming down to his elbow bend, which is so little. It's so little. This guy is so small and fragile. I thought the April O'Neil from the NECA toys was fragile, but this guy is more fragile, so be careful with him. And his uh, hand, it can go all the way around, and it's on, again, a ball peg, and it goes wiggle, 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 wiggle. So, yeah, you can do that. All right. Um, he does not have a waist articulation. Well, yeah, he does. Okay, he has two uh, articulation points right here. He has an ab uh, articulation. So you can see here, it can go down a and up a little bit and it can circle all, all the way around if you're so inclined and he does have a waist articulation right here that will allow him to go all the way around so yeah i guess they, they did some double work on this guy make him a little more agile i guess so all right comes down to his legs his legs can go up a little bit not too much can go back just even less because the butt gets in the way. They can go out to the side a hair, but not too much. Uh, oh. If you do his thigh swivel, <laughs> his uh, leg will pop off. So that's nothing bad. It, oh God, now his thigh, now his middle section has come up. This guy's just coming apart. Oh my gosh. All right, let me do some uh, surgery on this guy and I'll get right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. I had to straighten out the pegs because this one was kind of... I had to adjust the little peg in there that, that's attached to. All right. Uh, he does have a double knee bend, which gives you a good uh, range of motion there. Coming back down. Um, his foot can go up a little bit, back a little bit, and it's on a hinge. It goes all the way around for good rocking and uh, motion. So, yeah, that is it for his articulation. Be kind of... Uh, easy with this guy he will come apart on you but he pops right back in so all right moving on okay before we get into accessories <clears throat> I wanted to take a look and show you what Robin looked like without the uh, hood part on the cape here I thought that looked pretty nice not without the hood there and uh, that is his standard look for a Robin cape very good okay and just in case you were wondering his entire cape does come off and this will be what he looks like if you want to have your robin capeless which is pretty neat and this is what his cape looks like it's nicely sculpted this is the entire thing so yeah now moving on to accessory wise the first set of accessories or first accessories that we're going to look at is his first set of alternate hands now the first what we had been looking at is his closed fisted hands and this is his first set of weapon holding hands he has two sets of weapon holding hands a smaller set of weapon holding hands and a more open set of hands so they're really really small as it is but because of his uh, accessories he can hold different things in different sets of hands so you can see the little peg there and these particular hands are good for holding batterings and here he is with a battering it's nicely done it's uh just gray i don't know if there's a lot of detail on it um it's black and you have like a little circle i don't know if i can jump up there and get a good zoomed in picture of it so yeah uh it's shaped like a bat and it has like a circle on it so yeah it's kind of hard to see. There you go. And uh, it can go in his little hand. And you can put it in there like that. And now he has it so he can throw it. That's a good uh, way to do it. And he comes with two of those. So we can take the other one. And he could be double fisted up with batterings. Ha! Come at me, turtle. I will defend my cave. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. 
Yeah, okay, well, that's part of the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, then you might not get that. But anyway, so he can hold that with this, and I think maybe he can hold his pizza. Let's take a quick look before I cut. Here's his pizza, just the same as every other pizza. And I think maybe with his, with it being pointy, he can kind of hold it like that if he wanted to. Oh, I have some pizza, but who holds pizza like that? I don't know. He does, he can. So if you want it, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I think to uh, show off the next accessories, we need to uh, change to the uh, wider holding hands. And here are the larger weapon holding hands. And you can see they have a nice uh, wider uh, grip to them. So you can hold the other items, which would include the nice little uh, bat bomb. It is circular, and Batman had one. It has the bat symbol. It's a nice orange. And I'll try to get close in there, but it's really small, and it may not come out really well. So, But anyway, it's round, bat symbol molded on there. And we can fit it into Robin's hand if we take him like so and kind of put it in and kind of turn his hand because it is still... A little wider so his hand is kind of small we can get it in there i did this earlier come on go in there well, that's kind of it there you go hey see there you go you can hold it and kind of a ha -ha, i'm going to throw a bomb at you oh there it went oh well and for his next accessory he can hold here he has his bow staff in the closed position so basically it's just a little manila rod uh, there is a little bit of detail here at the top and line work a little line here at the bottom so basically you'll just put that in his hand and he can hold it. It's almost a little big for him, but yeah, it will work. So you can get it, oh, he can there, get there and hold it like that. Yeah, okay, I'm cheating because I'm kind of holding it grippy wise because it the hand may be a little big for it to, oh, yeah, it kind of goes in there. And I think it's too uh, big to go into the smaller hand. So I guess you can go, just pretend and hold it. So, ah, where'd it go? Come back. Oh, I've lost it into the, the off screen of madness. And here he is holding the fully extended staff and it's really nice and he can hold it uh, well with it in his hands. So, yeah. <laughs> so you can do a little bit of jabbing, ha, stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And here Robin is holding his grappling gun. So the design is exactly like Batman's. It's kind of rounded at the bottom and has a lot of detail here in the top. Uh, I don't know if I can get that zoomed in, but let's see if we can. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, you can see the detail in the handle and then like the, the top there. Turn it around. So yeah, he holds it pretty well. Um, it's kind of gingerly in there but if you kind of knock his hand i'm sure he'll drop it because those hands are really small and so what you can do with that thing is he comes with two uh grappling hook type dealies you got one which is here same as batman's it's this is in the uh, closed position and you will just take the grappling gun and if you flip it over you'll see that there's a little hole section and just tab that in there so to speak and it can sit like that so that's pretty neat or you can take the second attachment which is in a open position and slide that in there and boom that's a different kind of uh look there that's pretty neat so whichever one you want to want to uh use it's up to you and for his last accessory robin has his alternate hooded head and that looks really really nice uh, I think they did a good job um, with this hood. You can see his face in there, very uh, angry. Got a little mm, frowny face, uh, some eyes and the mask. Um, but the only thing they did uh, mess up a little bit on the paint here on the ridge of the gold. It's got a little black smudge on it, but hey, you know, I'm not gonna complain. So there he is dark helmet no 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 it's robin it's robin i promise <laughs> all right so yeah that's pretty cool i don't have another damien figure so this is the first damien uh wayne robin i've ever uh collected so that's pretty neat all right 
Moving on. And for comparison, here Robin is with his father, Batman. Damien. Father. And uh, that's pretty nice. I like the uh, size comparison there, obviously. You know, Bat Robin uh, Damien is the smallest of the Robins at this point. So, uh, Batman looks good. Batman and Robin. All right. Get out of there, Batman. And here he is with the smallest of the Ninja Turtles, Bat Mikey. Hello, boy. You are annoying, turtle. <laughs> so that's a good height. You can see uh, they're about the same size. If, if uh, Michelangelo didn't have the cow on, uh, it was kind of funny. If you've seen the movie, you've seen the interaction with these two on the T-Rex. But uh, anyway, that's a good comparison right there. And that's pretty much everything i have um for uh robin in comparison wise i don't have any other robins like i said uh this is the first damian wayne uh robin i've gotten and that pretty much uh sums up our robin figure so he, to uh talk about him specifically i like him uh he's very flexible a lot of uh, articulation uh he, the costume is nailed all the way down to this nice uh, R for the Robin. Uh, the options that you get with this guy, taking off the cape and the hood. I, I really like him. Um, <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that, you know, you still don't have to be very careful with him because I think he is fragile because he's so little and dainty and, you know, these hands are just so small and they will fall off if you're not careful. All right, moving on. And this has been the Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2-pack of Robin and Raphael. And again, these guys come with a slew of accessories, everything you would want uh, for uh, seeing them in there. Um, they also came, I'm sorry I didn't mention this, they also came with this like uh, Gotham City uh, sewer grate cover. I don't know who it goes with, it may be another one of those things that they could shoot out of the turtle van. But I uh, just wanted to throw that in here, make sure I was being complete with my review. <clears throat> but, uh, so, yeah, I like them. They feel kind of fragile. I think the plastic feels kind of brittle, especially with the weapons, like uh, Raphael's size here. I was very, very careful getting them in his hands. And I didn't, again, I, I never went back and tried that back thing because I, I really don't like that. That feels really, really dangerous to me. You can get these at GameStop if they're still available. I think they went on sale a couple months ago, and that's why I scooped them up. So you might be able to find them on eBay or somewhere if you don't have them in the GameStop. But don't pay too much for them. They're nice to look at, but really, I don't think they're that durable. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoy their view, and until next time, keep playing.